Hey everyone, in this video we were driving from Las Vegas to Austin, Texas and we captured a lot of stuff but we were so focused on buying land at the time that there were some gaps in our travel that I'm gonna help explain. Our first stop for the night was Cosmic Campground in New Mexico. It's a dark sky campground uh, where people come with their telescopes to look at the night sky. So the rule was that you couldn't have any lights on at all. So we were in complete darkness that night. We've been making our way towards Austin from Vegas, uh, just kind of to escape the heat and the timing was right to go back. We stopped at this free city park in Junction, Texas, a couple hours outside of Austin. And it's nice, it's free, we're right next to the water. However, it's been really hot and humid and we have not been used to the humidity at all. So uh, we're leaving today because it's gonna be like 96 and we're making our way towards Fredericksburg where it should be a little cooler. After leaving Junction, Texas, we drove an hour to Fredericksburg, the Napa Valley of Texas, uh, where we stayed at a winery through Harvest Host. This is the Messina Hoff Winery in Fredericksburg, Texas. It's actually great timing for us to be in the Austin area. Um, not only for us looking at land in West Texas, but Father's Day is right around the corner. So we're going to make our way up to Lago Vista and just spend some time with our family on the lake, on the boat, and catch up on some errands that we need to take care of for the RV. We're washing everything. Jayla said that there's dust in the curtains and there are dust in the windows and on the windowsill, so obviously it does look like they turned a different color too, so this is the big clean. Thanks, Daddy. We are washing everything. Pillowcases, bedding, archer. <laughs> and the kitties. Before we go, what do you have to make? Or what did you just make? Uh, an Archer Lemonade. Oh, wait, wait. An, Ar <laughs> an Archer Lucan. Okay. That consists of? Lemon water, ice, and water. Lemon, <laughs> a squeezed lemon, water, and some ice. And there you have it, folks. A delicious Archer Lucan. So we just got back from visiting downtown Austin and just taking a walk through memory lane. Turns out uh, we don't miss it that much. Like we don't miss the city life as much as we thought we would, but um, it was still nice nonetheless to check it out, get some of the food that we've you know been craving, but we really like it here in Lago Vista, out in nature. But we have a lot of laundry that we need to take care of. Now that we've completed laundry, we have to put everything back, including the bedding for the kitty loft, our bed, and all the couch pillows. There's an electric storm going on right now. It's, it's very spooky. We're cleaning this whole thing out. We're just rearranging it. We have lots of stuff in here that we just don't need. Oh, mattress. <laughs> So I have this battery bank here that we bought a while ago and that's what we've been using for our main source. It used to be right here, that's where all the connections were. But we want to make use of this space and I think it was overheating sometimes, there wasn't enough airflow. 
And so putting it like this, this is like our bathroom right here. And then I can put like a little plexiglass so I can see our battery status and all the time just turn it on, turn it off when I need. So yeah, that's kind of what we're working on. I'm gonna cut a little hole right there. Um, but yeah, lots of rearranging, lots of things. We've been like, we've been waiting to do this for a while. So I'm glad we're finally doing it. All right, well, we finished cleaning the garage and uh, organizing everything. Look how much space there is for activities. Looks way better than before and there is 100% less dust. A lot of the things actually like stuck really well. It's just some parts weren't sanded as well. But like, yeah, cause I'm like scraping and it's not chipping. So the paint is good. It's just, it'll be even better now that it's like latex based. After a couple days of working on the RV, we drove to look at some more properties. Currently looking at property to purchase in Texas, and this is the second one we're looking at so far. We're just checking out the property lines. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's, um, it's just even interesting filming this because we have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Usually we like to do things that are like defined or that we know we're actually gonna do, but I mean this one's interesting. I feel like I feel like yeah, I'm surrounded by too many people. But yeah, you see the property one? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, I see it. So this one's more like wide. The other one is definitely longer for sure. I kinda like that one more. See, I like this one for the for our house. Oh, I'm just, no, I'm just talking about RV. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even from here, you can see uh, a hill. So, like, yeah, I bet if there was like a deck or something, or just something higher, or trees trimmed a certain way, you could totally have like a view even here. We don't know. We don't know. So many choices, or so many decisions to make. We are so conflicted on what to do right now. Um, this property is really nice. It's a great price, great location. I guess we still just need to look at the lake that's supposed to be nearby and then maybe make a decision from there. But purchasing land is not as simple as purchasing an RV. That's for sure. It's okay. There's another one coming. Yeah. We've been in Austin for the last week, uh, staying in Lago Vista at a campground here. We had a lot of really good food and just caught up on our favorite foods that we've missed out on. Uh, but now we're driving to Indy where we're gonna be probably for about two months. And uh, we have trips planned in between there too. But I think that this is like the end of part one of our travel. Part one was the Southwest. Now it's part two or it's the Midwest and we're taking the RV and Jayla's car. It's a new way to travel for us. Uh, we're just gonna be driving separate. Uh, we're not gonna tow it or anything like that, but it will allow us to travel differently. We are thinking of getting bicycles too, to be able to ride around, but now we'll just be able to park it and kind of take the car wherever we need to. Well, we got about a 16 hour drive ahead of us. I'm gonna split that up probably into three days and uh, we'll catch you in Indy. We stopped at Bucky's again. Uh, it's our favorite gas station now. And to make it easier to communicate between the two cars when we're driving, I got these walkie talkies. And uh, it's been really fun. Jayla and I have been playing on them while we're driving. Even though this is a big vehicle and there's still a little bit of stress in driving it and with the cats and everything, it's still just so nice to be able to uh, go to the gas station and just use your own bathroom and not have to use public restrooms. 
I think that's definitely been my favorite part so far is just not using public restrooms, especially during this time. I thought it was gonna be a quick stop, but I, we couldn't resist, so we got some breakfast tacos. Since we're leaving Texas, I thought it'd be nice to just try one, one more time because they're just not the same anywhere else. Dang, those are some really good breakfast tacos. The Bucky's that we're at right now is south of Waco, so it's really big too. But if you want to see the biggest gas station in the world, it's the Bucky's in New Braunfels, just south of Austin. And there should be a video link somewhere up there. All right, are you ready to go? She's ready. Today we're driving to uh, Little Rock because it's uh, about a 17 hour drive to Indy. But with the RV, it's probably more like 18, 18 and a half. And uh, probably doing a seven hour drive today uh, towards Little Rock, Arkansas. Probably gonna stop out at Walmart again. There's plenty of options around, but the closest is just Walmart. So we really like stopping there. It's just always easy. And there's usually other people there. So we feel safer, you know. Yesterday we drove over 10 hours on our way to Indy and we stopped in a city called Blytheville in Arkansas. And once again, at another Walmart. We just had a lot of energy yesterday and didn't feel like stopping early and we didn't want to make this trip into three days so now it's just gonna be two days we'll get to indy today we got another six hour drive so yeah we ended up making it to indy where we kind of slowed down on filming and instead just hung out with our friends and family and just enjoyed the break